Welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077, guys. This is our full walkthrough here at Redentials. And I'm ecstatic and proud to say we are on part 47. This slight change in journey back from my time in Night City with after with the Nomads and Pan Am and helping Nakamura and Arasaka we are got really close to the end and then I deviated just for a minute to go help Rogue and now we are on this crazy journey with Johnny Silverhand I think we're getting close to the end of this side mission which has honestly added an immense amount of depth to our main storyline in some ways and I'm curious how it will impact the ending guys thanks for watching you know the drill let's get to it all right we are on the road go to red dirt in the evening hold on we are oh whew, okay let's give ourselves a couple hours into the day I right, changed up a little bit give ourselves some daylight to be driving through uh, change the scenery for the most part we got 2.4 kilometers to hit it's quite a bit of drive time I don't foresee myself having an insane amount to talk about during said drive time so what I will do Whoa, without crashing too hard Let's stop here at this fast travel spot what about Johnny he amped for hold on Carrie as amped as he's ever been must be important to him I'll give him that answer these text messages are kind of cool well I'm amped as F if anyone's wondering it'll be F and Shimra just gotta remember not to get too wasted before old habits die hard haha <laughs> yeah they do buddy they do now let's take the path less traveled kidding and we're gonna take the fast traveler and get our butts over here to the red dirt bar okay all oh, right, we are right outside a pretty chill looking bar. Red dirt. Okay, well. Thing is, is it saying wait till evening. So. Let's go 11.50, 12.50, 1.50, 2.50. Oh, 5.50. My bad. Alright, well, that's evening enough, I suppose. We should be able to go in here. Let's find out. Let's see what happens. Hey, V. V. Got something for you. Dunno if you know, but once upon a time, this was Silverhands. Fuck, Nancy just gets shit done. She just whisper Mikoshi in her ear. We'll be all set. <laughs> Deleuze Orphean. Remember that samurai graffiti in Haywood where the bakery used to be? Uh-huh. Got painted over a while ago, but yeah. Johnny was holding the Orphean there. Nice one. Where'd you find it? It's like fresh off the shelf. Bought it. Private collection. Always like to have everything down to the last detail. Gets too obsessed at times, but gotta respect her hustle. How you feeling, the head of the show? Weird. Like, I'm about to pretend to be... myself. Plus, Johnny's out. Never thought I'd say I missed the bastard. But, I damn well do. How about you tell me what happened with Henry? Ancient history. Kept falling into all sorts of crap, then I'd have to dig him out. You got tired of getting your hands dirty all the time. All wrong. Managed to get him a gig with a decent band. Henry quit using, got his shit together. Things were going great, so he booted me out of his life. 
What happened next? You get off on this sort of drama? He ditched me, partied with his new pals for a month. Then they tossed him out because he started acting up again. Ran into him on the street, total mess. Gonk even fainted for effect, a tug at my heartstrings. What did you do? Left him right there and made damn sure he couldn't find me again. Hey, thanks for putting the gig together. Please. Carrie couldn't twiddle his own asshole without my help. Silverhand was probably the same. <laughs> Worse. At least Carrie did what I told him to do, kept out of my hair. <laughs> Where's Carrie? Should be here any minute. Told me you play really well. Better be true, because there won't be a dress rehearsal. I'd worry more about Henry's replacement. Carrie got Drowson from Cutthroat to join us. I know him. Seen him play. And? He any good. He's fine. Just fine. You're the mystery dish here. Pill time. Just be discreet. And if I start puking blood again? Don't go making a scene. This is Carrie's big night. Got a feeling Nancy doesn't think I can keep up with him. Well... She's right. All right, time to sneak in the bathroom for my pill popping time, I guess. Ready to thrash? I don't know. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Now you mention it? It's getting worse. Maybe this gig isn't worth it. Fine, go out and play. I'll just sit back, tend to my bleeding ears. <laughs> okay. Fine, you got me. Have fun. <coughs> oh, man, all right, we got this. <laughs> we got this. Oh, this will be fun and interesting. Let's motor. Back to the main room. Talk hey, to Carrie. Uh, this is Drowsy from Cutthroat. Hey, big fan, huge fan. You too? Got all their albums? I mean, I never Chill, dreamed that. Chill, He's in the same boat as you. Want to talk to a star? Talk to me. And get that shake it under control. I think my shakes are the same. Or worse. Crowd got you stressed, or is it me? Fuck you. And missed you too. Alright. Alright. Let's do this. This is cool.
<laughs> Sick. This is cool. This is fucked up. What is? Actually, uh, got pretty nervous for this thing. Felt like I had something to prove. To myself, to you, and whoever the fuck. But all I did was have a good time. That's it. Want to do it again? Huh? No. That was enough. In that case, here. Take it. As a souvenir. You sure? Won't play without you. Just wouldn't be the same. I see what you're doing here. But I still plan on playing. Still hear you. Thanks, but not in the mood for hovering tables and voices from beyond the grave right now. Maybe you should hang on to this, actually. You shouldn't have, really. The very gun I tried to shoot Johnny with when he broke into my house. Meaning you tried to shoot me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and earlier. And never mind. Cool. Feel like I fell asleep and woke up 50 years later. Back to work then. Take care of me. I'll be in touch. Well, it wasn't so bad, was it? Too bad care's gone off. <sighs> Hope that's it for last requests. Maybe. Now you get a chance to do what you will. Gotta go talk to Hanako. Fast. Okay. Your choice. Let's go. Interesting. Oh man, alright, we leveled up. Oh, it was quite a side quest with freaking Johnny. That was cool. Well, what I do know is at least, oh shoot, I don't know, there's at least one more side quest that I'd like to do before wrapping this showdown rodeo, if you will, up. Hold on, let me check, let me check my skills for a second here. Okay, you know what, uh... What are we even focusing on here? Athletics. Slow regen. Current capacity. Health regen. Increased max health. Reload weapons while sprinting. Melee damage 10%. Reduce the amount of stamina consumed. Dodging doesn't strain anything. Allows you to shoot while sprinting. Reduce all damage. Hey, uh, I'm pretty happy with my hacking ability at the moment. I'm going to add a little more to tech because I do want to get to uh, some crafting perks here. Um, grenades deal 10% more damage. That may come in handy. We'll level that up to 20%. Let's do 25% more effective on consumables. Uh, I mean, I'll... shoot, man, I wish there was a reverse for, like, you know, oh, like, oh, no, I didn't want to do that. Can I reverse it? <laughs> you know? That's all right. Uh, max health by 20%. Let's raise that up. Let's do it by 30. Don't know how effective or much that's going to matter too much this late in the game. Well, we're going to roll with that. 
and let's take a look at our journal at the moment. Okay, we've got the this one's our main story. Me, Judy, at Clouds. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Uh, side quest, side quest. Um, this one might have us see Pan Am again, helping some of the nomads, but we pretty much wrapped up Pan Am's time anyway. Uh, let's see. Animal Club. Uh... Okay. Last thing I think I want to do is go ahead over to... Let's see what, how much more help Judy needs uh, before we, before we wrap up the whole game. You know what I'm saying? Before we get out of this, let's go talk to Judy and see if we can help her out. Uh, and then I think I'll be at peace with uh, ending the main storyline at least. Let's see what we need to do that let's see 1.8 kilometers and okay, you know what? actually as much as I like driving we're gonna fast travel for this all right guys we are going to let's take a quick look okay helping out Judy we're gonna throw ourselves up here me Judy at Clouds Terrace all right let's fast travel all right things got all right, things got a little saucy there. Let's see what we're going to end up doing with Judy here up at the Mega Building. Wait a minute. Well, Mega Building is where my apartment is, so she is she here at my apartment level? Clouds. Well, shoot. Oh, no, we're going to that club. That club where... Evelyn was screwed around with and then taken. Oh snap, this could get dark and dirty. I'm not, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. Oh, your taste, their pleasure. Bah, alright. <laughs> alright. Yeah, we're getting real close to our apartment for meeting up with Judy. That's interesting. Okay. Now, is she waiting at my apartment? That would be weird. She might be. I don't know. <laughs> don't know. What are we... Oh, we're hopping over into an area that's... Uh-oh. We're in a hostile area already. Interesting advertising. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Cloud Stairs early morning? Oh, well, this is as early morning as it gets now, isn't it? Oh, snap. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, we are... I... This is interesting. We are going a back route to meet up with Judy right now, and I have no idea what she needs help with. Always the collector I am. <laughs> yeah, I've never gone this weird backwards route to meet up with someone. Not here anyway. This is where she wanted me to meet with her though. It's... Oh! Hey, V. Thanks for showing. Oh, 5 a.m. Talking with Michael is like a game of 3D chess. Don't let her derail you. Some deets about her could be useful when I talk to her, don't you think? No. Leave the talking to me. So, in brief, I'm just here as your hustle, right? Never said that. I just know the woman better. How do you aim to get her over to our side? By telling the truth. About Evelyn. What happened and why. Think that'll cut it? No. 
Have to improvise from there. You seem a bundle of nerves. I have a mind to kill the bastards with my bare hands. So yeah, you could say I'm a teensy bit nervous. I'm ready. Let's go. Hold on. I'll open it. Lock like that? No way you cracked it open on your first try. You know how to get around their systems? Appears so. I was hoping they hadn't run any updates since I left. Looks like I was right. Easy as paella. Follow me. Alright, here we go, Judy. I'm gonna help you as best I can. Judy Alvarez. I'd say it's great to see you, but I've never been one to lie. Also, I never like surprise parties, but you know. Yep, bet I even know why. Thought you'd hit rock bottom when you joined the mocks. Guess you've managed to stoop even lower now. You somehow never failed to lower my expectations. First you settle for the mocks, now murderers. I shudder to think what's next. Yes, V. I mean you. Don't mind me, I'm here to bleed into the furniture planned in. Sounds like I left a mark on this place. Good. If by mark you mean buckets of blood, then yeah, congrats. Came the clouds for info. Left with info. What happened in between is what happens when people refuse to work with you. Ever heard of a little something called compromise? I should try it sometime. Compromises take time I just don't have. Just what exactly are you after? Gonna go and harass another doll? Starting to think blowing hot air is all you're good at. A pathetic attempt at getting under my skin. What's next? Threats? We're not done talking, but you do well to hear Judy out. Or we'll make sure your worst fears come true. Oh, stand to lose my youth, at ease, and influence? Something's gonna happen. But you'll be the last to know. Huh. We need you. We can't do what we want to do without you. You mean making better life choices? We want to help the dolls. Dolls make more eddies than anyone else in the industry. Thanks to the chip, they experience no trauma. Every whore in Night City wants to work here. It's the Tiger Claws that are the problem, and people like Woodman. He raped Evelyn while she was unconscious, then sold her off like so much scrap. What you two are out to do is... Impossible. Completely beyond your means. So, you won't help. I thought I expressed myself clearly. Gonna pretend as if you two weren't ever here. For old time's sake, Judy. Literally moments from now, security's gonna figure out you're here. Got two options. Go out the way you came in, or get thrown out. And that's not a threat or figure of speech. Just a friendly heads up. Had enough. I'm leaving. Smart move. You picked the wrong side, Maiko. I'll be the judge of that. I'm not your enemy here. And I didn't ask for your opinion. That went smoothly. 
She didn't even let me make my point. Probably needs time to think. A couple of days, tops. Yeah, you might be right. I'll call her tomorrow. Interesting. I'm, huh? I'm very curious how extensive Judy's side plot will go, because we just did Two Silverhand and a little bit of Rogue. Way back, yeah. I think I just felt lonely. Like everyone in Night City. She was different then. And so was I. Can't trust people that see everything as a numbers game. Lying between patting you on the back as their friend and planting a knife in you as their enemy is down to a decimal. I know. Right there with you, I... Well, used to have a big crush on her. Took me a long time to realize who she really was. But still, honest or crooked, we need her. It's time for your <sighs> Just think, could've gone diving this morning. A little unwinding do you good. Do me good too, actually. I wouldn't have been unwinding. Not exactly. Got an idea buzzing in my head. Working it, but I can't say if it'll amount to anything. Yeah. You, a deck chair, and a Mai Tai with a cocktail umbrella? Somehow I don't see it. No. Me and a deck chair is me mulling over coulda, shoulda, wouldas. Something I avoid right now. so much detail to these side stories. <laughs> I love the fact that I can still explore each of them and I'm curious to see how much it affects the main storyline if at all. But even if it doesn't, it's still fun. Absolutely. Punch the ground floor. Just did. There we go. Really don't understand what tits have to do with selling that garbage. Can't say no to tits. Rest can go fuck itself. Hey, if it works, blame the corpse all you want, but at the end of the day, it says more about us than them. Biz is biz and tits are biz. It's like junk food. People don't buy it because they're gonk. They're just poor. I mean, true. Bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can't you see who you're talking to? Man, some of the side chatter is funny. Well, we need the pipe fixed, that's for sure. Maybe something to fix up some of the units, too. All right, well, I'm here, Judy. Let's talk. I get back to Michael with something big. Appealing to her sense of justice wasn't big enough? Michael only works with specifics. So, what now? Gotta think. We need more bodies, that's for sure. I'm gonna talk to the dolls. I'll call you when I've got something. See you later, V. And thanks. Yeah, of course. Alright, well. 
Street cred went up. That was a big pothole. Never seen that one before. Well, I'm kind of curious how, you know, how much longer it's going to be before I hear from her. Oh, she's got a vehicle. Hey, can I hop in? You going to take off? Hold on, wait, no. Judy. Yeah, I, get, I guess she's got a ways to go.